Hello the internet, my name is Dean and welcome back to another Ruby on Rails tutorial. Today we're going to be setting up a way to categorize your posts. We'll do this in a way that doesn't require Bootstrap in case you're not using Bootstrap, but we're going to have a boolean that kind of refers to a nav bar. We just won't actually use or create a nav bar, I'll leave that up to you in case you're trying to implement this in something that doesn't use Bootstrap. So we're going to try and tiptoe around a lot of the dependencies that generally you would use for something like this. But you can apply this for, you know, other styling frameworks or even other models. You don't even have to call this categories. It's just the principle that kind of can be applied in a wide variety of ways. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. So really the only gem we're going to use for this is going to be the simple form gem. So we'll just say simple underscore form and save that. We can then come into our terminal and run the bundle command, oops, the bundle command. And then we can say rails g simple underscore form colon install. That'll run the simple form installer. And once that's done, we can run the rails g scaffold post. We'll give each post a title of type string by default and a body of type text. And then we'll also give it a reference to the categories by saying category colon references. Now we don't have the category created yet, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and create it right now. So we'll say Rails G scaffold category. We'll give each category a name of type string by default and maybe a description of type text. And we'll also give it a Boolean and we'll say display underscore in underscore navbar. And we'll say that's a Boolean. Now let's come into our DB folder, migrate, and the create categories migration. And then we'll just say um, default colon true in here. Once that's done, we can come into config and routes.rb, and we'll just set the root of the application to be the post controller index action. Once all of that's done, we can run the Rails DB colon migrate command and come into our app assets style sheets and delete the scaffolds.scss file once that's done we'll run the rails s command and come into our views posts and the post index page and then after the post inside of the header we'll just create a link say link to a new category new category and then we'll say new categories path and then we can go ahead and refresh this. Uh, this should be new category path. Now that we have the new category, we can click that and just make a couple. We'll start off with the general one. We'll give them just some, some text as a description. We'll make the first one display in the nav bar by leaving the check mark. We can go back and then we'll create a new one and we'll say, technology and we'll just give it a letter as a description and we'll make the display and nav bar false and we'll create one more we'll call this one specific and we'll uncheck this display and nav bar again and we'll leave the description as blank so this gives us one category that should display in the nav bar and two that will not so now let's go ahead and head back to the root of our application we'll come into new post we'll say hello world it's me, Mario, and we'll give it a category of general, and then we'll hit create post. Now, if you want to change this so that it actually shows you what the category name is, you just come into the show page, and after the category, you just type dot name, and there you go. We'll create one more post. We'll say um, another one. You can see how many placeholders I have from doing stuff like this. More words here, and we'll give this one a category of technology and we'll go back. Now let's come into our posts index page again. After this category, let's call a dot name so that we can uh, pretty this up a little bit. Now after this header, let's go ahead and do a BR, an HR, and a BR. We'll hit enter, and then we'll just repeat this. So we'll say that and that, and that's fine. Now in here, after this first one, let's just do a category dot all and then we'll just say uh, dot each do cat. And then in here, we'll just do a link to the, um, I guess the cat dot name. 
and then we'll do the post path, not the category path. We'll do the post path and we'll pass in a parameter of category and we'll set that equal to cat.name. And then we'll do a BR after this. And let's just go ahead and refresh this. So here we have an error for the post path. We need to make this the posts path so that it goes to the index page. So now you see we have three links here. And if I hover over them, it says localhost port 3000 slash posts slash uh, question mark category equals general, which means we're passing in that general parameter. So if I click on that, you can see the URL changes. We're still on the post page. Nothing else has changed yet. So now let's go ahead and let's grab only the categories that we have set to display in the nav bar. So we'll say category.where display underscore in underscore nav bar true. And then we'll say dot each do cat. And then we'll say link to cat.name post path category colon cat.name and then we'll end this and we'll actually do a BR tag in here so that everything looks okay. So now I'll refresh. Now we have only the categories only in or only in navbar displaying down here. And then we have all categories displaying up here. And I apologize for the terrible styling, but the point isn't really the styling. It's just to show you how this works. So if you had, for example, a bootstrap nav bar and you had a drop down, you would say, you know, more categories as the name of the drop down. And then inside of the drop down, you basically just call this so that you only generate the links to the categories you want inside the nav bar. And then maybe on the actual page where you're rendering all the category or where you're showing that category after they click on it, and you want to render all the categories in there, you would just do the categories.all call. So how do we actually make this filter the categories? Well, to do this, we just come into controllers and we come into the post controller. So once we're inside of here, what we want to do is check if the params dot has key question mark and then colon category. So if the parameter has the key of category, so if this part right here after the question mark says category, then do whatever is inside of the statement. Else, there was no category parameter passed. So instead, we'll just set the at post to be equal to the post.all. If the parameter does exist, we'll say at category equals category.find underscore by underscore name. And then inside of here, we'll just say params category. So this is a specific, uh, a rail specific find method that basically just takes one of the uh, attributes of the model and lets you search by it. So now we have a category. So what we'll do instead of saying at post equals post at all is we'll say at posts equals post dot where category is equal to at category. And once that's done, we have all of these posts, we should be able to come back here and refresh. And it'll give us an error saying undefined method each for nil class. So why is it doing that? Because this is at posts and not at post. <laughs> it's like six in the morning, I apologize. Um, so now we have the hello world, it's me Mario from the general category displaying, but we don't have the other one from the technology one. If we click on specific, then there's no categories listed at all. And you could even set it up so that if there's none, you could instead redirect to a different page. But for now, that about does it. Um, you remember, if you like this tutorial, please like the video, that helps me. And if you didn't like this tutorial, then dislike it, because that helps other people that watch these know that it's not a good tutorial and you probably shouldn't stick around for it. Uh, if you want to watch more of these, I tend to upload probably three times per week. So, you know, consider subscribing. But for now, I'll see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.